Hey everyone, my name is Lomela Zidigo and I am a Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador from South Africa. And my journey with Microsoft Power Apps and the Power Platform um, began with having um, people um, that surround me who don't know any coding and they're very eager to learning something new and very eager to actually learn how to create apps, but they don't really have the background for coding and also being surrounded by pro coders who actually want to learn something new and very excited to know, but they don't know which route to take. So the, there's this time where I was actually involved in a hackathon with one of the organization at my university, and they actually wanted to use custom vision AI. And the developers that I was with at that time actually wanted to use something that's much more simpler and they don't really want to use code. So that's all my session is about, is to introduce um, Microsoft Power Apps with AI Builder because I've already introduced the people who want to learn um, low code development, but now I want to put something that's very much more exciting that has artificial intelligence in it so that they can put um, their apps with AI. So today we have to understand what AI Builder is all about when you integrate it with uh, Microsoft Power Apps. And we're supposed to know what are pre-built models in AI Builder because that is what our talk, uh, my session is actually focused on today. And well, at the end of the session, I will show you a very, very short demo of how AI Builder works and, and how you can actually build your own using pre-built models. So first of all, we have to understand what AI Builder is. AI Builder is much is some is a component that comes from Microsoft Power Platform. It gives your applications the capability to improve your business performance by automating um, processes and predicting outcomes. And again, to the people that want to learn uh, app development without knowing any code, having no technical background. With this, you do not require any coding or data science skills to actually add intelligence to your applications. So we have two different types of AI models in AI Builder. We have the custom models, we have the pre-built AI models. I would like to say to you guys that you have to take the custom AI models as, you know, when you get a new puppy, you have to actually train the puppy or dog to actually know how to use, how, how to bark whenever there's something wrong in the house, how to bark whenever there's burglars in the house and you have to train it. That's how custom AI models work. You have to build your model, you have to train it so that you can be able to use it so that it can perform your AI specific task using your own data. And then the pre-built models, you have to take them as a dog that you will probably get it from like let's say those police dogs that we'd have, and those police dogs already know the drill. When you have them, when you have them at your house, whenever there's a burglar at your home, they already bark. You don't have to teach them. You don't have to train them. You do not have to do anything. They already know the, their job. So with pre-built AI models, they, they're already trained. You, 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 they're already built. You don't need to train them. You just take them and add them to your application. The types of pre-built AI models that we have are the business card reader that everyone should actually look at because you use this one in scanning a business card. Let's say you're at a conference and you, you, you do not want to be taken down or you don't, you don't want to lose that business card that you actually got from that potential investor. So you can use your application that you bought that you can just um, scan that business card and then it can extract all the information that's on the card and then save it to your database. And I have this um, sentiment analysis, which is my favorite, because if you have a requirement in your business and you, you, you have a product that's out there, out in the open, people are always giving out feedback on how your product is doing on how the product is treating them. So using sentiment analysis in AI Builder, you can actually learn whether whenever they give you feedback, you have the positive feedback, you have the negative feedback, and then you can actually structure your product or make it better or improve on, on certain things based on those um, 
those comments or feedback. And we also have the receipt processing. Take this one as whenever you you buy something. Usually, I buy um, a lot of um, a lot of products and a lot of um, tech stuff, and sometimes they don't really come as good as as the supposed to be, and I have to return them. The problem I usually face is that I have to always provide the receipt or I don't know the details on that receipt in itself. So I really use, I'd use um, receipt processing in Air Builder with just taking that receipt for yourself after you've purchased your product and then you can scan that receipt and it can extract that information and save it in your data source it's either you can use sharepoint or cds it's, it's it's really up to you and we have language detection in which you can you can analyze um the feedback or the comments that you get from your your, your clients your employees not needing um if you don't understand what kind of language they're using you can use language detection in your application you just whenever they write that comment it will tell you that this is the type of language that they're actually using. So where can we use AI Builder? We can use AI Builder in Microsoft Power Apps, right? Which is what we focused on today. And we can also use the AI Builder on Microsoft Power Automate in which you want to use that certain component from AI Builder in your automation. It's, it's really up to you. And this is what's exciting about the Microsoft Power Platform because it gives you options on where to use those components that they're always coming up with and they're very exciting. So I want to show you guys a little demo that I did for the session, which is on Microsoft um, Power Apps Studio. My, my session um, and this demo, I actually based it on the receipt processor, which I was talking about. So you, you'd find that I already have it. So to use a pre-built pre AI model on, on, on Microsoft Power Apps using the AI Builder, you would usually go to the insert and right towards the right of your screen, you'd find AI Builder and you'd have options in which it tells you that you have the business card reader, you have the receipt processor, you have the form processor, the object detector. So the business card reader, the receipt processor, form and text recognizer are the pre-built ones. If you go for object detector, it will tell you to actually create a model first because it, it, it's your custom AI model, basically. So I chose Reset Processor in which I added it to my screen and you can see right there, it's name is Reset Processor 1, right? So what Reset Processor does, like I explained before, it, you take a receipt that you, that, you, you, that you got whenever you were purchasing a certain item and you scan it so that you can extract the data from it so that you can save it for later use because Sometimes it's hard to keep track of the receipts and the paperwork that you usually have at, at your business or your company. Or if you're a student and you're buying stuff all the time and you, you're, trying, you're trying every time to actually keep track, what did I buy? Where did I buy it from? You always forget which merchant did you really use. So the receipt processor model actually comes with benefits in which it can just save your data in your data source. So it extracts the details of the merchant and the transaction, its date and, and the total amount that you really spent there. So for you to extract the information from that picture, right? Because like I said, it's a recent processor. As it is a recent processor, you have to scan a, pa a piece of paper. So you're using your camera and it's taking a picture of the piece of paper so for you to extract the information from that piece of paper, you have to write um, a, certain, a certain formula on Microsoft Power Apps because sometimes people will just think, um, so Melez, what is this that you just did? Is this um, black magic or something? And, I'll, I, and I'm like, no, man, you just use Microsoft Power Apps and with AI build that, and it's very easy and simple to learn. So for you to be able to extract the information from that picture or from that um, piece of paper that you have, 
you usually take advantage of the formula here, the formula bar here that you have, where you'd actually write all of your functions for either your button or either for your date or anything else that you want to do, in which this you have to call your receipt processor. So the name of my receipt processor is receipt processor one, right? So when I call the receipt processor, my application automatically knows that I'm calling a pre-built AI model that I have on my, on my application that I, in, I integrated. So what do I want from that receipt processor component that I added to my application? I want the merchant name. So I'll, I'll be able to, whenever I've, I have um, scanned that picture or piece of paper, I'll be able to get the details or the information of the merchant name, or I'll be able to get the phone number as well, because this, you do the same thing on your text box. You have to put your text boxes here so that it can be data input, so that you can be able to save it to your data source. So that's what you do with um, Reset Processor. So I'm going to show you guys um, a little bit of how it works by just running it. So you have to click on scan receipt for, for it to work, right? So I have my sample data already. I have a certain receipt that I have, and it's scanning through that picture that I already have, um, which is a receipt. And I can't wait for it to actually show you guys and extract the information from the paper. So like I said, it's, it's very, it has the capabilities of extracting the merchant name, the amount that you spent, the total amount that you spent, the total amount of money that you were text on that, on that product that you were buying. And it's a very good thing. And you can actually save it to your data source, like I said. And then my second favorite would be the text analysis. The text analysis is, the sentiment analysis, um, sorry, the sentiment analysis is, is more of, like I, I explained before, it's more of showing um, what kind of comment did, the, did the, the client or the employee make based on a certain product, based on a certain thing. So what you do is you just add a, a text input so that you can be able to take in the information or that um, feedback from your user and the label. Mind you, in that label, again, you take advantage of this formula. On text, right? On text, you have to specify that AI builder so that the application or the whole the whole the whole Power App Studio can know that you're trying to leverage AI builder. So you'll be able to say AI builder dot analyze sentiment. So AI Builder knows that you're trying to access a pre-built model, which is called sentiment analysis. So you, you call it by saying AI Builder dot analyze sentiment, and you put in your text input one, which is your text box that you had, uh, that you already added before so that you can take in that feedback from your client or your employee or your employer. So you, you extract the text from it. And then the most favorite part here is dot sentiment you're taking the sentiment out of the text so that you can know what kind of sentiment you got from the feedback so how it works let me run it again and then just remove this a little bit i can say this session is awesome so when i do that it will tell me that that comment or that feedback that I got from the user is positive. And if I say the session sucks, it will say it's negative. So this way you can be able to do an, an, an analysis on what makes your, your, your customers or your clients happy or your, employee, or your employees happy based on that sentiment analysis. So those are the two favorite, most favorite um, people AI models that I really like and that really caught my attention because most of the time whenever I'm dealing with um, with people who want to learn new things they always think that um, this thing is is magic and they can't do it and I always I'm always eager to actually show them that 
no, you can do this with AI Builder. And on top of that, you can't say it's a drag because you don't need to learn any code. You don't have to have any coding background or any coding experience that you have. So I always, I'm, I'm always eager to show these people how to actually use Microsoft Power Apps. And now, since there's AI Builder as well, it makes it much more fun and easier because each and every time people see something new, they always jump on, they always jump on the ship and they always want to learn new things. So for me, I would like to tell you guys that you can come and I can answer any questions that you have about AI Builder and its pre-built AI models. And you guys have to learn these things and they're very, they're very fascinating to learn. They're very exciting. And uh, there's also a free certifications challenge, cloud skills challenge happening. So if you wanna bag yourself a, a free certification exam or exam voucher, just do the cloud skills challenge. Trust me, you learn a lot and you will gain a lot of stuff. So without further ado, you can also go learn more about AI Builder on aka.ms slash um, sdc slash AI Builder, and you will learn both um, the custom AI uh, models. You can learn the pre-built AI models as well. So like Ashley say, said um, in, the previous, in the previous presentation or session, always, just always go out there and learn new things. Even if it's hard, even if you think you've reached your limit, even if those limits are very hard to actually walk past, you never know what might happen. Just learn these things because I started learning um, Microsoft Power Apps beginning of this year. And I would like to have been holding sessions for, for my fellow students at my university with Microsoft Power Platform. And I, I've been trying to show them how to build apps without learning any code. And it's, it was very easy for me to actually get into it and it's easy for them as well because they've been able to do this as well. So I would like to take it back to Seth and Donna. Thank you guys for having me and cheers. And you can learn all of these things on Microsoft Learn.